guys, Tori Ann here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, I'm coming at you with another awesome homeschool resource that's going to make learning in your fun inspiring and exciting and engaging and, well, just super fun. So today, what I want to tell you about is this really cool game that we love to play called Laser Maze. It's made by this really cool company called Think Fun. They make lots of interesting, engaging, exciting games, and this is one that when it showed up at our home as a gift, I was kind of like, mm, it looks kind of gimmicky. I mean, if you look at the front, it looks like there's, I thought, how can this be a super exciting game? But then we started playing it, and what? Yeah, this is definitely one that is awesome. It teaches problem solving skills, it teaches math skills, it teaches the kind of skills that will make great computer coders, great mathematicians, uh, kids who know how to think through problems and come up with creative solutions. And I love these kinds of games because they're fun, but they're also teaching these basic, basic skills that apply across the board. So how do you play this game? Well, it starts with a base like this and a card like this and they come in three different levels and you take the card and then you get these different pieces that you put on the card now this is the laser and the laser if you can see this on my hand when you shoot it a laser comes out so you don't want to like shoot it in your eye because it'll you know blind you so you have to be careful about that but anyway so it's a laser and the basic premise of the game is that you get these targets and on one side of the target you get this really really cool reflective material and if you put the laser there then it bounces off at a 90 degree angle so there's a little bit of math involved just with angles and stuff like that but if you hit this side then this lights up and I don't even know if you can be able to see that yeah you can see how that lights up the goal is always to get one target to light up, but you have to figure out how to manipulate a whole bunch of pieces on the board. So you have pieces like this that reflect one way and the laser goes through at the same time. You have pieces like this where the laser goes straight through. And what the cards do, and this is an expert one, is they tell you where to put the different pieces on the board. And then you have to figure out how to turn the pieces and manipulate them so that ultimately you can light up the target with the laser. It sounds simple. And so it should be, right? You put the laser here, you put the target here, and you do that, and it lights up. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. But it gets super, super tricky. And while I can do all the beginner ones, I get into the intermediate ones and I start to have like this head explosion. I have not solved all these puzzles. And you guys, there's a lot of puzzles. But my 10 year old who really enjoys math and he really enjoys problem solving, he has been working through every single one of these and they're challenging him and he's enjoying the process. But even my non-mathy 12 year old, you know, the one who really doesn't like doing math, likes to play this game because it doesn't feel like it's hard or it's math, it feels just like a game. So you put these different tokens on here and you figure out how do I position and based on the things then you have to figure out which ones rotate and they all fit on like this. See? Super fun! Although if I did this one it wouldn't work. So don't do this one. You have to follow the cards. Right. So that's it! Ah, uh, Another cool thing! I love, love, love being able to share all of these amazing resources with you. I want your home to be a fun and inspiring learning environment. So if this is something that looks like a game that you would have fun with in your homeschool, check out the link I've put up above or, you know, down below. It, I don't know. It migrates around depending on where you're seeing this video. But the important thing is if you like it, it's have one in your home so that your kids have these fun things to do when you're thinking, oh, we got to do something that just kind of mixes things up a bit. And I want them to be learning when they're not playing. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. So I often look at games like this and I think, well, there's probably an app that will play this game. And you know what? There almost always is. But I love having games in my home that aren't screen based. I want to be able to say no screens and lots of amazing learning is still happening in my home. I don't want all the learning and the fun games to be on screens. So I think this is a really great game to use in your home when you want to be screen free but still have that really awesome screen type learning, the programming, the mathematics going on. I just wanted to put in that little last plug because I think it's pretty cool. All right, I'm Tori Ann Perky, and I am here sending you out awesome, awesome ideas because I want you to be an awesome, successful, confident homeschooler.